known each other for about 15 years. We're old. Damn, you gotta cut that stuff out. We are not old. We're just wise. Are you ready to go uh, hit these trails? I'm almost ready to go riding, but first I gotta go take care of some motherhood business. I've got a three and a half month old at home, and I gotta make sure she gets fed. Oh. Now that it hurts. <laughs> look at that gun. Just give me the gun nice. show. Feel no pain. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, you look at that gun. Remember me. <laughs> and I remember you. <laughs> Good thing window. she's not broken. Man. Oh yeah, she we checks tortured. out just fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go hit it again. How do you feel about that? You're so pumped, like you can't help. You're like, no, I'm gonna do this, no, I'm gonna do that. And you're like, what trick are you doing? And you're like, yeah, I wanna do a trick too. And all of a sudden you're like, okay, like, I gotta go. And you just like, you get in the air and you just wanna be in the air longer and longer and longer. And so you're like, I gotta go bigger and more air time. Well, I can't get my hand off the bar. I gotta have more air time so I can get more tricks in. You want these girls to be pumped to ride their bike? Yeah. Pumped! <laughs> Without energy and excitement, I mean, what? This is mountain biking. It's not chemistry class. We're not talking about Heck no. organic chemistry and molecules and things that put you to sleep. We're out here mountain biking in the sunshine on awesome dirt, having a blast. And this gap grows to your transition. The more uh, it's gonna take to get there, so that's why we progressively build you up to that. Hi, Katie. Oh, I love Hi. tricks. That's awesome. Yeah. See, see, she did it. Now you guys go do it. Things. Jumping off the stuff. It's the smartest, dumbest sport in the world. <laughs> I think that every year women's free riding in the market just gets more and more open for women in the sport. And we're now starting to be taken seriously. The level of professionalism and all the women that are in the sport is taking leaps and bounds. And, and every year it's just accelerating and accelerating. And events like the Sugar Showdown here that we're at. And, you know, Kat Sass for sticking with it. And she's put on a professional quality, amazing event right next to Seattle. So we are gonna have a huge crowd out watching today's event. about the women sticking together, building a sisterhood of riders, and progressing our sport to the next level in our own zones. So it's not just you know about being the best at something, it's about pushing your own skill level and supporting each other along the way. 
Super progression session. <laughs> Super progression session. Yeah. Totally, Ange. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. If a guy does it, you always have that excuse. Oh, he's bigger, he's stronger. He's a guy. Not sure if I can do it, but those excuses just fall away when it's all girls. So, you know, you, you realize that, that you can do it and uh, you don't need to fall back on those excuses anymore. A gap jump back there. I wasn't sure I could hit it. I was really had a really big mental hang up on it. And I saw you girls all start to hit it. And I'm like, well, they're all better jumpers than me. You know, and then I see Courtney ate shit on it. I'm like, <laughs> now I'm really not inspired, you know? Yeah. And I just didn't have enough speed. Like when I landed, I just came to it almost to stop. But then she <laughs> went back up, pushed, she shook herself off, pushed back up, <laughs> sent it gun. beautifully. Give me the gun eyes. Show. Da, da, You'll know da, pain. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, you look at that remember gun. me. Yeah, yeah. exercise those demons. <laughs> And I was like, if she can do it, I can do it. You know, I knew, and then I went for it. So yeah, I remember the first ever women's slope style event that Stephanie Nitschke put on, like maybe about eight years ago, the Slope Sister in Hemlock, BC. So some of us have been waiting for a really long time for this uh, women's slope style dirt jump scene to happen. And it's just like so exciting and just uh, emotional almost to see that there's finally women that get how much fun it is. And we finally have venues where we can teach them and uh, they can start having as much fun as we've been having. But We've been waiting a long time for it to really catch on and it's great to see. I'm really excited about this weekend because I really think that the Sugar Showdown is going to make history. I think that we're going to have um, possibly the biggest women's free ride event in North America this weekend. A lot of these bike companies are like, right, you know, like women are riding and they're riding well. and. You know, so it's like, it's really great to see the whole industry embrace this movement. A lot of people are starting families. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are like being their prominent household members. And there's, there's all these like dynamic women that are out here to inspire you, not only in riding, but like in life in general, you know, they're getting after it in more than one way. If she can do it, I can do it. <laughs>
whatever. It's definitely a challenge trying to ride and be a mom. My responsibilities don't stop. Even now that I'm, no matter where I am and what I'm doing, I still have mom responsibilities. I'm looking over with my boobs over the bars and I lunge. I've got this long of a distance of a lunge. You need to have a little give. This is also your suspension and your cushion when you land. So you come up, you look, you lunge forward, a little bit down. Once you get off the drop, you're instantly gonna get back in a ready position. Because what happens if we're down here and we hit anything, we got nowhere to go. And then push. Okay, you need to get more in a ready position so you can look more. Big wide happy elbows. Oh, no, no. Woo, keeping those eyes forward. You have your takeoff lift, and usually there's some sort of landing lift right here where you eat your dinner. Is tabletop. Okay, and then you have where you land, your transition or the landing. You want to be here. So that's where it's important to be centered at all times. Allow the bike to come up to you. Stay balanced and neutral and centered. Look at your landing. I'm letting the bike come up into me, I'm making a rainbow and placing that front wheel where I want it to land. because you can go, oh, I'm hitting a jump, or you can ah, jump in, like, want that jump, and it, it's all right here, it's, oh. As you come up off that lift, make that little bit of a rainbow back down. They're not picking the feet up. It's uh, girls that ride trail and, and downhill. They're just used to using speed and, and the angle of the jump to like throw them off. And when you dirt jump, you got to pick your bike up and make an arc. And then pick your feet up. You get two more feet of air and you have all the room to adjust if you're coming up short or long or whatever. Like you're balanced over your bike and you're in charge so you can put it wherever you need to put it. Try to visualize yourself doing it. Think about your mantra. Look, load, punch. And then over there we have two sizes of step up. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You have the builder's permission to like break some of the fern nope. branches off so nope. they don't stand on my takeoff. <laughs> Nobody's ever hit them yet. You don't have to start. No, it's not hitting them. It's a mental thing. Right here. I'm not going to take them out. I just want to bend them a little. up and down, pressing and sucking, pressing and sucking. This is all safe. We can just roll through it. And this is a good practice of maybe we might not jump it as much, but keeping the bike centered and balanced underneath us yeah. through the changing terrain. <laughs> start low, just to feel what it starts there, it's going to push you out to here. So if I can start high, then I can use this bank to help me gain speed into my next hit. Yeah. arms are pretty no brainer though, because it's just like to keep the body perfect. Again, at this position, I'm boobs over the bar, so I'm forward here. If I stay in this position for the takeoff, where is my body now? Back. Back. I'm not in control of my bike anymore. Right now, 
I'm at the mercy of whatever projectile I take off at, right? You landed that backside nice, you pumped it. If you case that one, when you come out of the berm, put in a pedal or two. If you land that backside smooth, no pedal needed, rail the berm and jump. Uh, anyone have questions or feel unsure about this one? I feel like I might wuss out. <laughs> ready and I bounce because you, you can't, can't relax. You, you can't relax. Like yeah, you can't bounce if your arms are like this. So when you bounce, you have to do this and then you have the strength to pull up. Okay. So just in this like little setup, just one or two bounces and then do it. But you've got your heart out there, you've got everything. Oh going yeah, in. I just threw it. I was like, I'm really yeah. nice. <laughs> that's awesome. Nice. Oh yeah. Same, jump a little bit harder. Yeah. Give it more. The rooster booster is not rollable. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Want it? And now you know how much harder you have to hit it. Hey, Rosie, that was good. Arch it. Arch it, yeah. <laughs> What's the coaching moment of the day for Cat? Oh my God, there's been so many. Hmm. Probably getting getting people people to do that drop for their first time when they're kind of like, oh, I'm not sure, I think I can do it. And then uh, I know they're ready. <laughs> and then once they land and they come up to me and they're just total smiles, laughing, I did it. I'm like, yeah, girl. <laughs> Makes me so happy. I'm like, yeah, I'm so proud of you. So that's been my favorite part of the day so far, is getting those ladies to, to hit that drop and to realize they can do it. Pretty sweet. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah, just don't hesitate. Get my earring out of my helmet. Black shirt. Is that what you meant on the board? This one's kind of see-through. Yeah, yeah. I'm having the best time. I have all these ripping riders out here, just killing it, throwing fat tricks. I'm pushing myself, trying stuff. I'm like, whoop. Okay, I'm nominating you. <laughs> Judge two is rooster booster to the step up. Okay, so on the step up, if they go left side, they get one extra point. Judge three is the drop to the hip. Okay, drop to the hip. There you go. Nothing there that's unusual. We've got like freaking almost 20 ladies in the pro. We've got 35 in the amateur. It's amazing for jump. You know, jump, jam, jam thing. It's freaking like incredible. Sunshine, perfect dirt. All these bitches don't get hurt. <laughs> 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 yeah. Two, three,
jump, uh, my first trick on the pro line this morning. I did a bar hump on the rooster booster, it was so awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing like these other girls are throwing, but it's still fun to finally get a trick in, you know? Like, all right, I'm getting comfortable, getting inspired, humping my bar. <laughs> more people every women's event. I've seen them just growing and growing. It's psyched. It's good for the market and good for biking. It's great. Turns it into a family event. I think it's awesome. There should definitely be more chicks in the sport. <laughs> yeah, chicks on bikes, jumping. It's super cool, you go to Whistler, you go to a bunch of these places, and it goes from being all dudes to hear the hooting and hollering in the background. I think it's a really good thing for the sport. What do you think about women in free ride, dude? Uh, I'm on the phone with my mom, but she thinks it's awesome because she rides bikes too. <laughs> what do you think about this women's event? Sam I like ladies. Exactly. <laughs> it's a sweet! Not to be confused with cats, sweet. How'd go? Trigger Showdown was awesome. Yeah. It's amazing. It's way too much fun. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. You competing today? We are. Are you? I'm not. Oh, I am. Amateurs. I'm just yelling a lot and trying out the trails while I'm here. What do you think about women's free ride? Awesome. Yeah. So much fun. We don't ride cross country anymore. Woo! Yeah, pretty fun.
you're like this. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> you have to plow when you're in the air. Okay. Okay. Back one hander. Fourth place is Trish and Tammy. Yeah. race career sort of gave that everything I had so this was always just fun for me um, but I never wanted to be the best one there I wanted there to be other women that I could learn from and that I could follow and there weren't and when you sort of step aside and you wait for the next girls to come up and there's no girls there that inspires me like okay we need to start getting these girls trained not to prove anything but just because it's so much fun yeah.